Pisces, Pisces. Pa 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 Pisces. How are you doing today, my beautiful Pisces? I hope you all survive Friday the 13th. <laughs> so, before we get into this reading, what? Yeah, he's excited. He's like, Mama's gonna put down some holy water. He's like, I'm so excited. It's like we survived Friday the 13th, Mama. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Oh, God. He really is. He's my soulmate. That's for sure. Are you my soulmate? Yes, you're my soulmate. Yeah! <laughs> I love him. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge. T T Dong residing. You can all keep singing or petting your fur babies or whatever you're doing. Yes! He's like mama with soulmates. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will put that shit together like we always do, baby. Yeah! I know Brother Vinny. He's like, Mama, I'm just so excited. Yes, he's excited. Some days he's excited, some days he's not. Oh. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second, guys. Hair in my eye. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful pipe. Okay, right on. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful pipe. Okay, right on. As always, I'd like to thank Colleen for supplying the channel with decks. Colleen, I love you. I hope Rusty's doing well. Pet Rusty for me. Knight of Pentacles. The Magician. Okay. The overall energy for the reading is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Well, looks like your person here is holding on to something. And I feel like this person here mm, may want to talk about getting things more established here in this situation. This person could be um, repeating things over and over and over again. Or they just might want to be reliable. This person um, might be bringing in some kind of unexpected change. So, we're going to talk to the Knight of Pentacles, and we're just going to see why the Knight of Pentacles is down here on the table in this person's energy to begin with. So, why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why? Whoa. Top to bottom? That one's not ready. Why is this Knight of Pentacles down here on my table in this person's energy? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Woo! Ooh, I like you, like you, like you a lot. Looks like somebody is bringing you some kind of serious offer here. Well, maybe not. So, <laughs> I lied, I lied, no. Someone here is overthinking. Yep, about bringing you a serious offer. So they're not doing it because they're, they're up in their head about something here. I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out after these messages. Okay, just joking. I'm back. I delivered the messages. Did it cut to commercial break? That'd be so cool. All right. Well, so what's going on in this person's cranium? Besides, it might be a little bit cracked. What's going on? In, oh, they're thinking about this connection. This person, it's like they are overthinking. So, this person is really overthinking it. So they might have a lot of what I would like to say. They're getting, they got anxiety. A severe amount of anxiety here. So they might be terrified that you possibly could reject them. You may not, but this is just what they're thinking. This is just what they're feeling. 
which is perfectly normal. I mean, come on, guys. Have you ever overthought it, overthought it? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've overthought things. I remember one time, like, I was like, oh, I'm just in love. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I'm, I, don't, I just can't take it anymore. I just can't stop thinking about this part. I'm just like, I'm in love. And then it's like, and I felt trapped and in my head. And then it was like, then one day I just ripped the band-aid off. And I'm like, you just go in there, tell you. And you just tell them how you feel. You just tell them. And my God, it was so relieving. So I didn't have to think about it anymore. Who likes to think about shit like that? Nobody does. But you, you, you get, you're scared. You're scared what the, what the other person will think. And then eventually you just get to the point where you're like, fuck this. Like, I, I can't keep overthinking this. I got to just get it out of my system. Whether or not they like it or not, I don't care. I'm just going to go in hardcore style, TT Dong style, and just rip the band-aid off, throw my heart out on the table, and if they want to do the Mexican hat dance on it, <laughs> then I let them do the Mexican hat dance. Don't really care, because I'm basically invincible. My heart, well, my, you know, you know what I mean. I'm in control at the end of the day. So, this person, what are they holding on to here? Well, they're holding on to a lot of shit. That's obvious, isn't it? These people are always holding on. Well, not all of them. Okay. Hopefully, they're not holding on to their Ace of Wands here. <laughs> what are they holding on to with the Ace of Wands? I feel like... The, I, yeah. I feel like this person... Yeah. They're holding on to a lot of passion here for you. That's what they're holding on to. They've got a lot of passion. They've got a lot of desire here. But it's like before they can even implement the passion and the desire, they need to bring balance into this situation with the justice card. And I told you they want to talk to you about what? Bringing balance to the situation. So this is where this person is obviously wanting to talk about it, okay? Birds are messengers here. So what is this person wanting to, how, how are they wanting to bring balance into this situation? How is this person wanting to bring balance into this situation? How is this person wanting to bring balance into this situation? How is this person wanting to bring balance into this situation? Okay. Somebody is like, they want to hug you? They want to snuggle? What? What's going on here? It's like, they want to hug you. I want to snuggle you. I want to be close to you. Yeah, I want to be close to you. Because I don't want to be full of regret here. If, yeah, I don't want to be full of regret. I want to be close to you. Is that a song? Let me get close to you. Why am I hearing it? I'm hearing a song. I don't know what song it is. Let me get close to you. Can, can I get close to you? I don't know what the song is. I'm just getting it. Let me get close to you. But they, yeah, somebody here is wanting to get close to you. It's just what the song keeps saying that I don't know what song it is, but it's going in. Let me get close to you. What is it? I don't, that drives me nuts when songs come in through my scrambled egg channel and I can't, I can't make it out. I can't make it out. That, that drives me nuts because I like to make it out. I like to make it out with YouTube Pisces. Man or woman, I'm not particular. <laughs> Order on the court, you can't hit on the Pisces. What the hell's wrong with you? Hitting on Pisces is just like hitting on myself, Judge. <coughs> I don't think she understands my depths. Mm. Okay, Magician. What's going on with the Magician here? Unexpected change. What is this? Yeah. This is all about somebody here walking towards you. Yeah. Walking towards you here, Pisces. Because it's like 
They've realized something here. What have they realized? I've realized that they want to get in the in the depths of your emotions. Yeah, they want to get in the depths of your emotions here. And it's like somebody's taking an action towards you. Walking right towards you. At light speed. Look at that. I'm going to grab one card for each sign, guys. And we're going to do the kitty, kitty boom booms for Jesse and Gabby. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. What was that? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, they are heartbroken right now. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? My goodness. Okay, Cancer wants to pet your Persian kitty. Meow. Scorp. Scorp. Scorp uh, is overthinking everything right now. Aries, how do you feel about Pisces? Aries, thank you. Aries is in love with you. La 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 Leo. La 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 Leo. Goodness. La 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 Leo. Um, they're hiding something from you here. Uh, Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius wants to talk to you. Uh, could be a double-edged sword though. Libra. Libra is in love with you. Judge Gemini. Judge 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 Gemini. Gemini. Sure, my back's itching, guys. Uh, they're confused. Uh, Aquarius. 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 My goodness. Aquarius. Aquarius wants to scratch on your scratching post. Uh, Virgo. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Virgo. Virgo. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, Virgo. Okay, there you go, Virgo. Okay, Virgo's been thinking a lot about you. Taurus. 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 Is going to reach out to you all of a sudden and happy, happy. <gasps> Capricorn is about done carrying whatever burden they're carrying, and I don't know what that means. So, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Appreciate everybody. Tarot's adjourned.